Welcome back to another episode of Saturday Afternoon Gaming. I'm your host, Gaming J, and welcome to The Goonies 2 by Konami on the NES. There was a Goonies 1, but it came out on the Famicom. It was never released in North America, so instead we got Goonies 2. I don't think as kids we really questioned why there wasn't a Goonies 1. But uh, as you can see from this hilarious intro here, where the text goes by super fast, they don't even pause when they're done typing out a line for you to read it, and then it cuts right to the intro screen. I don't know what's up with that. Konami usually makes amazing games, um, and apparently this one's not bad, uh, but I just, that, that intro is just ridiculous. I mean, to be fair, it has the Fratellis. Pretty good likeness, pretty good graphics representing the Fratellis. So uh, anyway, I would say that this game is kind of like a much more updated version of Pitfall, almost. Because The Goonies, The Goonies is a classic 80s movie about go about a bunch of kids going on a treasure hunt and looking for pirate treasure with, like, criminals chasing them and there's no parents in sight and kissing girls and finding catacombs and all sorts of stuff. Death traps, all sorts of things. Um, it kind of does remind me, though, of Pitfall, just like going in giant caves and looking for treasure. But uh, anyway, uh, without further ado, let's go ahead and get started here. Give this game a whirl. Now, uh, you might recognize in the background a nice chiptune rendition of the classic Cyndi Lauper song, uh, The Goonies Are Good Enough, which was a song written specifically for The Goonies. And let me tell you, I'm in favor of this chiptune rendition. I, I love the song, The Goonies Are Good Enough. It is a great song. I love The Goonies movie, by the way. I'll just get that out of the way real quick. Um, this game does have these weird first-person modes where the music sounds like it was taken right out of Friday the 13th. The NES version of that, so I don't know. Also, by the way, if you pause the game, that's totally like the pause sound from Ninja Turtles. Like, listen to it. Yeah, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 1. Anyway, there's items and stuff and like a 3D environment to explore. There's, you can see there's a hole up there. There's a safe. I don't know what to do with any of that stuff, so I'm just going to leave. But most of the game is in this 2D platformer mode. But you do go around getting uh, items. Oh, God, what's happening? Oh, I'm being attacked by one of the Fratelli brothers. Oh, my God. Okay, we knocked him down. Oh, a bird got me. All right, well, <laughs> off to a classic G Gaming J rough start. We'll find our footing eventually. Um, but as I was saying, The Goonies is probably one of my favorite 80, 80s movies of all time. Uh, I mean, Back to the Future, Who Framed Roger Rabbit, those are definitely really good, too. You've got a magic locator device. All right, good good to know what's in here. Nothing. Um, yeah, so Back to the Future, Who Framed Roger Rabbit, those are classics as well. Uh, but Goonies, for sure, I think Goonies even grew on me the older I got. Not that I, I didn't like it at, at any point, but definitely the older I get. Oh, I'm in a different part of the world, by the way. Interesting, I didn't come back out the way I came. Apparently, okay, you can see where we are, or you can see a map. There's a red dot and a blue dot. I don't know what those dots represent. Which one is me? I My guess is that I'm the red dot. Let's see if we can make sense of this. Oh, God! <laughs> we just fell straight to our death. Wait, where are we now? What's happening? Wait, what What happens if we go in here? I'm so lost. Oh, good. Oh, good, a maze. This is gonna go well. Um... I don't anticipate beating this game today, but definitely... Uh, I am I'm excited to, like, explore the, uh, the Goonie Caves here. So, uh, so yeah, Goonies, excellent 80s movie. If you've never seen it, it's definitely considered a classic. The Steven Spielberg movie with Richard Donner as the director? Forgot the guy's name right. He's quite old now, um, but, yeah, I mean, th this movie, like, has it all. It has kids on a treasure hunt. It has very lax parental supervision. It has... Uh, you know, criminals and, and Indiana Jones style puzzles and death traps and pirates and all sorts of cool stuff. It's, it's an excellent movie. It's a romp. It has the incomparable Cindy Lauper who comprised music for the, the movie. It's, it's great. And apparently she did work on the game too, cause we're hearing her song. This is a warp zone. Son, I will take that. Wait, what happened? Where am I? Wait, is that where I, did I did did I actually warp? 
hold on let's let's explore this for a bit the, these environments all look so similar okay no i didn't actually warp anywhere let's go back to this warp zone man old man it's the old man from legend of zelda he also exists apparently in the world of goonies so in goonies there was a crew of people this guy looks like moses he has like a big staff and he's like old with a beard can we can we take his staff or something? No, nothing to take. Okay, can we go over here? Nothing. Welcome here. This is a warp zone. How do you use the warp zone? Let's hit him. Ouch. What do you do? <laughs> what does that mean, old man? Okay, I'm, I'm unclear on how you warp in the warp zone. Um, I do remember this game from when I was a kid, by the way. Um, I never owned it. But this was a game that a friend of mine had. Um, and I definitely remember as kids, none of us knew what we were doing. In fact, I had never really seen the, Go the Goonies as a kid. Um, I only saw the Goonies when I got much older. Like, I don't even think I saw the Goonies when I was a teenager. Which is probably why, like, as much as I like it, something like Back to the Future is just, you know, like... It edges it out a little bit in terms of my classic 80s movies. Because I grew up watching Back to the Future. I don't think I grew up watching The Goonies. As good as a movie as it was, my parents, like, totally deprived me of that, uh, that pleasure. Okay, we are lost already, by the way. Can I just say that? Um, let's go back. If I can figure out where we came from. We'll go back where we came from, and I think there's a whole area to explore that we just totally skipped over. Um... Yeah, I had never really seen The Goonies as a kid, but I, I kind of like vaguely knew about it, knew that it was a cool movie, and I don't even really remember the first time I saw it, but I was definitely a bit older. Um, how do we get out of here? Uh, but nonetheless, uh, great film. And when this game was around when we were kids, I remember like nobody knew how to play it. It's it's a very maze maze based game, you know, like. Uh, so I actually just went forward in the door there, and this took me to a different spot, I think. I think. I guess we will see. Um, but yeah, because this is sort of a maze-based a maze -based game, you couldn't, like, sit down and play it like Mario. Like, oh! <laughs> son of a bitch. Like, when you played Mario Brothers, you could just sit down and you could get farther and farther in Mario. Um, okay... But in a game like this, if you don't know where to go, you just don't know where to go. Also, I I have a I have a bomb. Oh no, wait, that's my yo-yo. I was gonna say I thought I had a bomb. In the original Goonies for the Famicom, I believe you do have bombs. I guess you don't in this one. I've got a yo-yo equipped. Okay, can I do anything here? I have hold on, I have one key. What could that possibly be used for? And there's there's a blue circle up at the top. Okay, let's try and get up to the top and see what we can figure out. Because that blue circle has got to be up there for a reason. So let's let's try and follow this map here. Um, if we get stuck already, I guess I'll have to look up a walkthrough. But I, I was thinking we'd get a little bit further sort of by ourselves and we wouldn't have to look up a walkthrough, but I guess we will see. All right, where are we now? Wait, we are still on the weird side of the house. So hold on, let me come back over this way. Okay, there's nothing that way. Okay, I'm gonna go in this door. And... Okay, that takes me back to the same place. Ah, uh, there we go! That is so weird. So when you try and go forward in that door, it keeps, no matter, every time you enter it, you come out of that same spot. But when you press back, you come out way over here. I don't know what's going on. It's, this is very Friday the 13th-ish, because on the NES version of Friday the 13th, they had some uh, directionality issues with those paths that you would have to walk. Ooh, a heart. Sweet. So, Alright, we found a new area to explore. We are not stumped. But uh, I can tell you guys today, it's basically going to be like, let's just explore some areas. Because it's not like Mario, where the longer you play, the farther you get. This is kind of like one of those where the F do you go games. And you just kind of go in places and end up in different places. This is a warp zone. I've heard that before, old man. Oh my god, it totally was. Where am I? <laughs> I am, like, deep in the caves. Oh god, snakes! Snakes! 
In the actual Goonies movie, I don't think you ever see the main character, Sean Astin, use a yo-yo. So I don't know what this yo-yo thing is about. I guess I had to give him some kind of attack. Also, where are the other Goonies? They have their Fratellis who are kind of chasing me around, but where are the other Goonies? We go through there. That just takes us out here. We go like this. Oh, look at this. We're in a totally different spot. Okay, hold on. If we go over this way, get out of here if you have nothing to do. How about I give you a sock to the face, buddy? What do you do? <laughs> okay, so I'm in this room. So here, let me try and explain it to you guys. Let me get out of here. All right. So I enter this room, and this is what I see. I see a door for in front of me and to the right. If I press go and I go forward, I come out where I came in. So I go in and I press go and I hit backwards and I come out over here. So I go in here and I hit go and I hit forwards and now I come out over here. So it's, it's all messed up. Pressing forward doesn't always make you go in a specific direction. It's, it's a very weird system for how these doors work. I don't know. I don't know if you guys followed that, but suffice to say, if you try this game, it'll be a little funky. That was a very bold jump. I think those waterfalls... Oh, crap. Knock you down. Hey, I got a key or something. That's pretty cool. Oh, God, a snake's gonna land on me or a spider or something. All right, here we go. Whoa, get out of here. Why are there running dudes painted on the walls? Also, look, a scorpion. Just like in uh, Pitfall. I was telling you guys, this game kind of reminded me of Pitfall. All right, well, I guess we're going to go forward. Oh, no, <laughs> going forward, of course, leads you back from whence you came. Unless you've already gone backwards, then going forward takes you to the other place. So figure that one out. Oh, my God, the map's different. We're never going to find our way around anywhere that we need to go today, guys. We're just a we're just enjoying the scenery. I don't even know where we're supposed to go. It'd be nice if they gave us, like, a direction. I know in the opening, uh... In the opening scene there, they were like, Come to our hideout if you want to get your friend Annie. I think Annie was the, the cute one. The one who kissed, uh... Sean Astin. Mikey! Mikey is the character's name in the movie. So in the, in the movie, Josh Brolin, uh... Thanos himself is the older brother of Mikey, who's like this, uh, sort of, like, young, semi-nerdy kid... He's kind of like the king of the nerds, though, because he's definitely, like, the boss of all his friends. So he's kind of like a cool nerd, but he's definitely sort of just like a kid. And, uh, his, his brother, Josh Brolin, is dating, or, in fact, I don't even think he is dating, but he wants to date this really cute cheerleader named Andy. Oh, it's Andy, not Annie. Anyway, I don't know who Annie is. I don't know who got kidnapped. Oh, God. That platform screwed me up. You'd... Better quit! Try it again! Why is she encouraging me? If yes, yes, push start. If no, push select. I push start, guys. We are continuing this. Oh, I like how when you continue, it like, gets you past the gap that you died at. Anyway, so Josh Brolin wants to date Andy. She's super cute. She's a cheerleader. She's kind of into him. And then at one point in the Goonies, um, she like tries to lure him into uh, a cave to like sneak a kiss. And uh, basically what ends up happening is she calls to him and he's too lazy to go over and see what she wants. So uh, Josh Brolin says to Sean Astin, his brother, he's like, go see what she wants. So he walks around the corner and she grabs him and starts making out with him. And as a kid, let me tell you, that scene, I was like, oh, yeah, that's awesome. Uh, the actress who played Andy was really cute. And I was like, man, like, that would be so cool if some girl just made out with me. Like... <laughs> Little, like, uh... I mean, I must have seen this as a kid, now that I'm saying this to you guys. I remember, I, I said in this video, I didn't see the movie till I was older. But I actually, now, I specifically do remember that scene when I was young. What am I killing? Like, a demon? What's happening down here? <laughs> didn't know demons were vulnerable to yo-yos. Guess they're not that vulnerable, because he killed me. Anyway, I I'm a liar. I must have seen Goonies when I was younger. I guess I just sort of forgot the context. Anyway, I definitely remember that makeout scene, and I was like, oh man, that is super cool. I wish I had an older brother who was uh, into hot girls, but also too lazy to see what they wanted, so they would make out with me. That would be cool. That would be something. Oh god, these demons. They're deadly. Oh, oh I snuck past you, demon. Now what? Do you have a vest and a coat to protect you? 
I do not. Nothing here. Okay, how about tools? Can I use a key on him? You can't use. Okay, see ya, buddy. Okay, so we- wait, we came all the way down here just to find out that we needed a coat. Hot tip, dude. Thank- thanks for telling me about it. This game is starting to feel like Metroid. Kind of reminded me of Metroid, where, like, you just kind of go places and hopefully figure stuff out. Okay, that room- that is literally an empty room. I don't know what kind of sick game they're playing here. They're- they're starting to screw with us. Oh, you can't jump over the top of the screen. That's interesting. Like, you kind of can, but you can't get all the way up there. It's like an invisible ceiling. Oh, God! It just gets in your way. I, by the way, I have no idea how to get back. I'm totally lost at this point. I hope you guys were paying attention, because I definitely was not. I don't know where we are. Does not look like that jump is humanly possible. Oh, it is not! <laughs> uh, okay. Okay, so we can't go that way. I mean, I imagine you get items to let you jump higher or fly or something like that later in the game. But let's see if we can find a way out of here, sort of. If I jump, I don't think I can grab the thing, no. You can't- you can't grab stuff when you are, uh, when you're in the air. But see, it spawns you at very convenient spots. I feel like Konami- Konami were the pros, you know? It, and that doesn't mean that all Konami's games were easy, or that they were all good, you know? Like, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Womp was a beast of a game. And many people would probably argue, what is- what? I just walked into a dark, empty room? Many people would probably argue that Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, the Nintendo game, wasn't even that good. And although I like it, I don't disagree with them. But, despite being a very challenging and potentially not good game, I think there's a few things that do make it stand out with that Konami shine. First off is all the Ninja Turtles look like the Ninja Turtles. And there are iconic things like Shredder and the Turtle Van. So it's sort of like, yeah, it might be a hard game and an unforgiving game. But Konami sort of, like, got the mechanics correct. Um, oh god, with the skulls chasing me. Uh, the enemies are a bit random, but, I mean, that's... That was true in the Ninja Trolls game, too. That guy fired a bow and arrow at us! Um, oh god. Oh god. Okay, we're just running for- we're running from this guy. Oh god, why are there metal skulls chasing me? The bridge is out. Um, the other thing... Another hallmark of Konami being sort of a pro studio is that even if their game is hard, it's like some of the mechanics are definitely done correct. So like when you die, you have infinite continues, it places you really well in like a good position of the level to get to carry on after you've continued. You know, there's like little subtle little touches that I think a lesser studio would have messed up on. But because it's Konami, they didn't. Oh my god, I almost died right there. So, again, not to say that this is an amazing game, because I will say <laughs> it is challenging and confusing. Two things you do not want in a video game. I mean, challenge is good. Challenge is good. But I would say challenge is good when the challenge leads to fun achievements overcoming it. This game just feels a little, a little hard. But it's not the hardest game I've ever played either, so... Anyway, that was that area of the map. Let's uh, move on. Oh, yikes. I still don't know what those waterfalls do. I feel like they're gonna, like, knock me off the platform or hurt me or something. It also feels like there is fall damage in this game, even though I don't think there is. But it just feels like, you know, taking, like, just free falling from, like, 40 feet can't be good for this kid. <laughs> Cannot be good for this kid. All right. Nope, now I went in the wrong direction. Go back. There we go. Now we're in a new part of the map. I've given up on trying to make sense of this map because there's just too much going on. Hey, wait, I can select shoes? Wait, hold on. Oh my god. I put on shoes. What does that do? What does that do? Wait, did I put on the shoes? Oh, the, you can get different shoes. Oh, that's cool. So I only have one pair of shoes and I only have one yo-yo. But in theory, you can get more shoes and more yo-yos as you go on. Okay. I, I find that curious. I wonder if one of the reasons that I am uh, doing bad in this game is I'm not using any items in those first-person environments. Oh my god! Can't believe I survived that. 
By the way, I just want to uh, also mention that I am playing this game using my awesome NES Nintendo Power stickered controller. This is an actual... By the way, we're in a totally dark room, so I don't know what to do here. We'll just exit. This is an actual NES controller that uh, they came out with. I mean, it's a, it's a normal NES controller, but back in the day when you would get issues of Nintendo Power, sometimes they would have stickers in them, and uh, you could put a sticker on your controller and it make it look, pimp it out like my controller here. Fun fact, I would never have put a sticker on my controller back in the day because I would have viewed it as destroying my controller. But uh, these days, it's like, it just looks so 90s. Doesn't this just look so 90s? This is like the this is like the 90s threw up on my controller. Um, it looks so nostalgic that I was like, I have to have that. I bought that on e I bought this on eBay not not that long ago. Anyway, we're gonna go ahead and you know what I'm gonna do here is restart the game because oh, we even get a password. G left A left 65 W left B D. Why are directions in this? That is so weird. Okay, we don't want the password. Because what we are going to do is we're going to start a new game. We're going to start a new game. And actually, now that I know there's a password system, we might try one more thing, which is loading somebody else's password uh, just to, like, see some items in the game. But I, I want to give this one more shot here. I feel like what happened is we got too far away from the, uh, from the beginning of the game. I would like to go forward. Do I have any tools to use? Ooh, find the Goonies with the magic locator device. Oh, oh. Okay. Hold on a sec. Okay, we don't want to pause. Um, I just figured out how to open safes. And I just figured out a, t a pro tip. So I'm actually starting to feel more confident about this game already. Oh, you know what the blue circle probably was? It was probably telling me where there was a Goonie to save. Oh my god. We actually have a goal. Okay. The game actually does give you a little bit of direction. Okay, now where's the where's that Goonie locating device? I think there was like a door over here that had it. If I'm not mistaken. Oh god. Kill this man. This adult man who's trying to attack this small child. Okay, was it in here? Yes. Take... You've got the magic locator device. Good thing we chipped all the goonies before they went on their adventure so we could track them down. All right, there's no goonies in this cave. Can we just move on? I kind of want to just sort of like take a second here and finish exploring this cave before we do totally give up. All right, here's a dead end. <gasps> Whoa, what is this? Oh my God, you've got a slingshot. Nothing here. Wait, hold on. That is totally awesome. I'm in trouble without glasses. Do you have any? Okay, we need to find glasses for this this dork. Um, now, oh my god. Whoa, we have we have a slingshot. Oh, we only have 40 shots though. Okay, we just wasted one. I'm gonna try this out. Huh! Okay, we keep missing stuff. We keep missing stuff. Oh, neat! Okay, cool. Well, we've we've made way more progress than we did last time. And we have to go up, up, right. Can we make this happen? Okay, so somehow we have to, on this... In this house here... Oh, God. We have to find a way... Oh, the slingshot is actually so convenient. We have to find a way up. Out. Down you go. Okay, let's see if we can make this happen. The interesting, another interesting thing about this game, by the way, is that it's a little bit of a remake. So the first Goonies game came out on the Famicom and it was only available on the Famicom. Um, oh my God, we found a way up. Oh my God, we're getting to this Goonie. Um, and so the first Goonies game was never widely released. It was only that, uh, only that one, you know, released on the Famicom in Japan, which is weird when you think about it because Goonies was like a wildly popular, uh, you know, uh, movie in North America. It's not like it wasn't popular. Okay, hold on. The Goonie is somewhere in here. Oh, wait, I know. Tools? No. You can't use. We hit. Nothing here. If we go over here. Whoops, I didn't mean to go out. Okay, hold on. Go back in. Hit. Oh, wait, is, what is this? 
You've got a bomb box. <gasps> Whoa, what do you do with the bomb box? Yeah, I am... I am so... Okay, the key is the only tool that we've got. Can't use it over here. Just So punching random stuff can give you items. Interesting. Hold on, what do we do with this bomb box? Oh my god, it's an item. I, I'm, I like, hesitate to, uh, to use it, uh, sort of carelessly because I feel like, like, that is, that is pretty crazy that we actually got an item. Okay, the map is still blue, though. What does that mean? All right, I tried to look up a long play just to see, like, you know, what we could actually do with our items. But <laughs> watching the long play and kind of skipping through it, I was getting lost as to where the guy actually was or what he was trying to do. And I think the moral is this game is just like a lot of like gradual exploration with, you know, your friends and your brother and stuff uh, after school. That's that's like how this game was meant to be played. And it, it's, so, it's there's only so far we can get today. So I think I've, I've accepted that fate. But yeah, the first Goonies game was actually very similar to this. You ran around, you had bombs, and you would blow up uh, doors, and then you would, like, get to Goonies that uh, that were sort of being kidnapped. And so this is kind of like the same game, only upgraded. Which is kind of interesting. So it's kind of interesting that they made the same game twice. Oh my god. The momentum is weird. If you're not moving when you jump, you just, you're dead in there. Um, okay, let's see if we can do anything with our bomb. Oh, we have a key, though. You'll get extra energy by saving Goonies. Well, that was a waste of a key, man. Just punch this wall. Oh my god, there's stuff. You've got a firebox. Firebox? That is so cool. Okay, I'm gonna hit this wall, too. Nothing here. Okay. What else? What did we get? Oh my god! Wait, that's not a firebox. That's a Molotov cocktail. How do you use that? Okay, hold on. Start does that. That pauses. Oh my god, I just walked right off. Okay, hold on. Oh my god, you can just lob Molotov cocktails. Do you have an infinite number of those? Oh no, I only have four. Okay, I better not waste them. Oh my god, I almost jumped over that. I, I legit want to see what happens. Okay, Molotov! Oh yeah! <laughs> okay, we better not waste these. Go back to our bombs. We have five bombs. Um, I imagine that we can, like, blow up holes in walls or something like that, so we'll see if we can try and figure that out. Um, alright, time to go to the other side of the caves. Oops. Uh, here we go. Alright, there. We're on the other sides of the caves here. And we... are going exploring. We're looking for... walls that we can explode. Or walls we can punch and get more items. Give me your stuff. Nothing. Oh, there's an old man. I'm in trouble without my glasses. Hey, wait. We've totally seen this guy. Give him a sock to the face. Oh, you're in trouble, old man. You're in a lot of trouble. But, uh, okay, I guess we're done here. So I got two keys at the beginning of the game. I've already blown through them. How do you get more keys? That's one question that I have. Oh my god, I just took a bird to the face! <laughs> just stood there and took it. Down you go. I'm also just burning through my, uh, slingshot. Maybe I should go back to my yo-yo. Good old yo-yo. Um... Wait, have we been up over here? I don't even know. Let's explore... So we are the red dot. Let's keep going up and try and explore this sort of upper section of the map here. Oh, this is the starting point. Wait, hold on a sec. This is a starting point, but I don't remember going up. It's like, look, there's a section, there's a whole section above this. How do we get up? Question. Might go through those doors in a sec. Back off, dude. Kind of feels a bit Home Alone-ish, too. There's like thugs chasing me and I'm like hitting them with slingshots. So you can't kill those guys, by the way, they will always regenerate. So, you know, that's a thing. Um, whoa, what is this? You've got a hammer. What do I do with the hammer? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Hold on, I actually do have to look this up. Like, what are all these things? What are they all for? Okay, apparently the hammer allows you to, like, 
test walls. So you can sort of like hit walls with a hammer and see if they might break with a bomb or something like that, I guess. The idea. Um, can we hit the safe and open it? Nothing here. I think I've already opened this safe, by the way. I don't know what that... Oh, the hole in the ceiling. I get it. We need a ladder. Oh, that's that's how you get up further. So see, we're the red dot. We can't get to the next higher section of this map. We need to go find a ladder. Okay, interesting. So we at least have a goal now. We at least have something that we're going to try and work towards. Oh my god, I'm just taking hits all over the place. Also, I do not know if you have infinite continues or not. I'm not clear on that. Let's try going down and see what happens. Is there anything further down here? I, I also have, like, totally forgot, like, where we've been and where we haven't been. So I'm probably going in circles at this point. But, okay, we are exploring the area near the starting point, basically. This is the guy who needs glasses, right? Oh, no, this is a warp zone. Can we punch him and go for a warp? What do you do? Hey, buddy, how about, uh... Oops, didn't mean to do that. Can we, can we just go past him? Go forward. Ah, there we go. Okay, we've warped. Although now we're in these caves that I don't really like. Although we have some items. What is the difference, by the way, between, like, just a normal door and a warp zone? Like, I, I, I kind of don't get it. Okay, we're gonna go through here. Alright, we are now way down here. If we can get all the way to the top, though, it looks like there's a blue circle, meaning a goonie, maybe, or something of some kind of value. So we're gonna head up. We're gonna head as high up as we can go. We'll see what happens. Anything over this way? Uh, spiders and snakes and stuff. Oh my god! <laughs> the platforming in this is like actually a little precarious. Um, no, we're not gonna be able to get up. So I guess once you're down in these caves, there's like no direct way to climb any higher. I got off. Oh god. Oh god. Oh my god. One hit and I'm dead. Oh! Damn it. You'd better... Your password. Oh no, I press select instead of start. Damn it, I messed up. Okay, well, you know what? This gives us an excuse to look up a password. All right, we're cheating. It's time to cheat. But look, this password doesn't just have letters and numbers. It has an ampersand. It has letter. It has arrows. It is also. It is. Oh my god! It has open and closed quotation marks. Are you joking me? <laughs> How about just keeping it simple? Letters and numbers are sufficient, yo. Another thing I hate in passwords is when there's O's and zeros in the same alphabet. It's like, what is that password? I don't know. So this password has a quotation mark in it. I don't know if I've got the right quotation mark. I don't know if I have zeros or O's. Give it a shot. And... Oh, it worked! It worked! Okay, so we've saved all the goodies. And we got all the items. Or most of the items, I think. Look at this. We have a boomerang. Oh, yeah. That is way better than my, uh... Way better than my yo-yo. Oh, we can totally go and see what this ladder does. I'm pretty sure... Yeah, we have the ladder. All right, we're totally going and exploring. So, obviously, you would work your way up to this. <laughs> the actual game. Uh, oh, this isn't the room. So, it's down here where you need the ladder. But I just want to see this ladder in action. Just to know it can be done. Go in here. Tools. Nope, not... Pff, not that. Okay. Tools. So here, okay, this is so stupid. I'm on candle and I'm pressing right. Nothing is happening. You have to press down, down to get to the ladder. Why do they do that? Okay, go forward. Tools. I want the candle. Boom! Oh my god, this is so cool. <laughs> Once you have all these items, you can actually solve a puzzle. Welcome here. This is a warp zone. How do I use the warp zones? Oh, there we go. You just press down, I guess. Well, where am I now? I'm- Oh my god, I just died. 
Oh, and I spawned over here. Okay. Let's try on a different pair of shoes, by the way. So I think these ones make you go extra fast. Uh, okay. Something like that. I don't quite understand what the what they're doing that are... I guess I am moving faster. Yeah, I'm kind of like running more quickly. Okay, we can also, by the way, have super springy shoes. Oh, look at that! This is actually way more useful. We're high jumping now. Oh, look at that! This guy should go into track and field. He would crush it. Go, Mikey! I was gonna call him Tommy. Oh my god! Evil, evil death angels. Okay, I don't want to fight you, dude. Oh my god, I... Oh god. Um... Okay. Wait, how about this? Can we drop a bomb on him? Huh! Oh, it actually killed him. Nice. Oh my god, that's actually hard. Ow, get out of here. Oh, there's a knight? Oh, there's like a samurai guy? I don't know what's going on. Oh, let's just go up here. Let's go up here and see what we got. Uh, tools. Here's another really stupid thing, by the way. So if I press down, I go to the hammer, and if I press up, I go to the ladder, I press up, I go to the key. So up and down cycles through these things, but it doesn't matter if you press up or down. What is with these controls? They're so broken. They're so stupid. Uh, I'm in trouble without glasses. Do you have any? Maybe I do. I do not. I have a key. You can't- I, in fact, actually, I don't have a key. In fact, let's just TAKE EVERYTHING YOU'VE GOT! You're getting mugged, dude! This is a straight-up old-school mugging, although I can't actually take anything from him, so... Whatever. Um... Oh, wait, there's nowhere to- wait, what? There's nowhere to go. Uh, tools... ladder... Go... Forward? That is so weird- oh my god, the, the controls in this game are broken. In order to leave there, I had to use the ladder on the guy. He's standing over the hole. I had to, like, insert the ladder in him. And then you would think you would press down in order to go down the ladder, but you press up in order to get on the ladder. I don't know. This game is crazy. Game is crazy. This definitely feels like old school NES, where, like, there's so many things that don't make sense. It's like it kind of works, but kind of not. I don't know. Those, those skull angel things creep me out, though. Get out of here, knight. Oh, look at this. We're just crushing this guy. Can we actually kill this guy or no? Oh, yeah, we... Oh, we dropped a key. Thank you. That actually is kind of useful. Welcome here. This is a warp zone, dude. Wait, where am I? I don't even know. I feel like this is, like, a huge map to explore, by the way. Like, there's so many worlds to explore, it's crazy. I, I have no idea where I am. We're just kind of walking around. Uh, tools, candle... Doesn't this music totally sound like Friday the 13th? Totally sounds like that to me. Nothing there. Can we use... I want to use a bomb. Guess I can't, though. Okay. Uh, just get the hell out of here. Oh, wait, where am I now? I'm so confused. Die for Telly, scumbag! Ow, ow. Get out of here. Fratellis are gonna kill me. Man, it's so funny to think about, like, the Goonies in, in the context of, like... Like, it was it was portrayed as this, like, you know, uh, just sort of fun kids movie. But really, it's like, literally, there's criminals kidnapping children, threatening to kill them. There's dead bodies in it. There's, like... There's all sorts of, like, really rough stuff. In, uh, in the Goonies, and it's just funny that it's portrayed as, like, this carefree kids movie. Um, I feel like in the 80s, it's, just, like, just anything went. Like, child endangerment, criminals, like, attacking, threatening children to kill them. It's like, that was, like, considered, like, good old-fashioned, wholesome fun. 80s was a hell of a time. Have any of you guys seen that? There's a documentary on HBO called Class Action Lawsuit. And it's about a theme park in the 80s. It was like a water park, but it was like literally criminal. It was it was run by people. It, it was it was so dangerous. So first of all, none of the rides were designed by engineers and there were no safety standards. And the park was so dangerous. Several kids died in the park over the years and many people who went there got injured. 
sometimes severely injured. The park was run by like teenagers who were often drinking and drunk and off having sex and stuff. And uh, basically the park was so dangerous that no one would insure it. So the guy who owned it created his own insurance company, like he fraudulently so. He created a fake company in the Cayman Islands and insured his own park. And then he refused, he absolutely refused to settle any lawsuits. And so he made it as painful as possible. So even though this park was like literally killing people, people stopped suing him because it just wasn't worth the money. Like it is, it is insane. That is a theme park that there's a water park that existed in the eighties. <laughs> people in New Jersey would go and get like their shoulders dislocated at action park. And it's like, that's like the equivalent of like what the Goonies was, man. Like it's it hardcore for a kid's movie. It was like in the eighties. It's like the, the times were different, man. People are like, yeah, you know, people, you know, holding guns to kids' faces, like, ha what a funny story. Anyway, I kind of feel like I'm totally lost in this game, and I'm just kind of wandering around, um, so it might be a good time to wrap up. Uh, Goonies 2 here is the hit sequel to the Famicom game Goonies. Gameplay is very similar, apparently. And uh, it's a bit of upgraded graphics. It was actually released in North America, whereas Goonies 1 was only ever released on the Famicom. Um, I think this game is not a bad NES game, by the way, but I definitely kind of feel like... I don't know how much I would have enjoyed this game as a kid, because it kind of... It's a very, very much like Where Do I Go game. Um, it's basically sort of like a puzzle and exploration game wrapped around a platformer. And the platforming is like, okay, but the bulk of the game is just figuring out where to go. And I kind of feel like in... I, I don't mind games that have you explore a world and discover things. But I definitely feel like a lot of evolution has occurred in terms of games that make you do this. Like, a modern game that had to explore a world would probably give you some direction. It would give you some checkpoints, some mini goals. It might lock off certain parts of the map until you had sufficiently explored some of the earlier parts so that you had a bit more direction as to where you were going. These older games that wanted you to explore, oftentimes it was like, just like, good luck, kid! It was, it was a totally, totally 80s mentality. They would take a kid and throw them in the deep end with no life preserver and, you know, the, uh, the lifeguard was, was passed out hungover, <laughs> you know, like, that's the, that's what this NES game is. is you're just being thrown in the deep end with nothing, you just gotta figure it out, just figure it the fuck out, you stupid punk. Like, that's the 80s, it's totally 80s mentality. Um, not to say that I think that nobody would enjoy this. Definitely, if you're looking for, like, kind of a, an interesting exploration type game, I, I kind of see there's something here. And I do remember as a kid, people's older brothers and stuff would be able to get much further in this game. And it was always impressive going over to someone's house and then them showing you a little trick or something or how to get to a certain part of the map that you couldn't reach. So, it's like, that was definitely, like, a fun thing we did in the 80s is, like, figure out how to get farther in these games. But in terms of, like, whether I would, like, really play through this game today... Like, I feel like, honestly, like, I'm literally just going in circles right now. I don't know how to get out of this section that I'm in, so... I think that kind of answers it for itself. It's... it's probably not my kind of game these days. So... I didn't know what I was gonna get today, I didn't know what to expect, but... Uh, you know, the one... the great thing that I got today was this awesome rendition of Goonies Are Good Enough by Cindy Lauper in the background. I love this chiptune sound. Let's just, let's just listen to this while I finish wrapping up here. Um, anyway, did any of you guys play Goonies 2 back in the day? Did you guys play this game? Did you have this game? Did you rent this game? Um, did, did you have siblings? Or were you the sibling who could get further in this game? Let me know in the comments down below. I'd love to hear about your own memories and experiences with this game. Um, I also wonder if there's a Nintendo Power. You know, speaking of how I have a Nintendo Power sticker on my controller. And that gave me an, a more authentic... Nintendo experience today, guys. But speaking of Nintendo Power, I kind of wonder if there was a Nintendo Power write-up for this uh, for this game, and if so, if it was like really helpful in terms of helping people get uh, get farther in this game. Hey, you can throw the boomerang like up at a weird angle. That's kind of cool. Oh, you can even throw it down. Hold on, let's try and snipe these guys. Can we do this. Oh yeah, buddy. Eat it. Oh, that's cool. That's really handy. That's neat. You know, as I said, games made by Konami, I feel like there definitely is a bit of polish here, despite the fact that there is also some non-polish. So, yeah, I don't know. Take it for what it is. 
Um, I still enjoyed kind of having the sort of nostalgic throwback to the 90s era today with this random game. So anyway. Anyway, guys, uh, whatever you think of the game, hopefully today was interesting and entertaining and enjoyable for you. And if it was, don't forget to like the video and all that stuff. And in the meantime, you guys all take care of yourselves and I will see you in the next one. All right, guys, remember, Goonies never die. And peace. Oh, shit, I died. <laughs>